Good morning. Let me set this up. Yes, yes, lovely people. You know, I had to bring it for you. It's out of season. It ain't in there yet. However, however, as and you shall receive. Guess what came in the mail today? Well, actually, yesterday. My raspberry beret. Yes, can't wait till the winter hit. I'm looking forward to the winter just so I can rock my raspberry beret. Let me get it, get it how they used to rock it in the Elks. I got to do it right, like Mr. Johnson. All right. Good morning, Junior. Good morning, Rodney. All oh, you lovely people. Let me set this thing up. I'm trying to set it up where, because you know I talk with my hands. But today we are going to talk about, let me know when it's exactly 7 o'clock. It probably is already. Let me fix this up here. All right. Good morning, Rob. Is it seven? You hit them likes for me. It's seven. Like, 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 let me know when it's seven. All right. All right. All right. Let's get started to be inspired. Lovely people. Listen, I got something for you today. Yes, I'm in friends. Yes, yes, yes. Let me eat a French fry. <laughs> All right, Cuddy, let me eat a French fry. Pretend I'm in France. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, I put a post up there. I said all I wanted for my birthday was a raspberry beret. You know, the kind you find in the secondhand store. Well, guess what? I was totally for real about it. This is the kind, not the new and approved with the buttons and all that other stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Work it, work it, work it. All right. <laughs> okay, 701 Thanks, Cuddy. 7 o'clock. I said I was going to start on time. Today, we're going to talk about... um. When you get into that rut and it's hard to achieve what you're trying to achieve, even if, you know, your goals, success, uh, goals is just like an umbrella, success, um, something you're trying to achieve at work, in your home, like, and you just feel stagnant. And you just feel stagnant. You're like, I keep trying to do it, but all these things keep coming in and, oh, I need this, I need that, or working on your own personal issues, you know, issues. And I won't say issues your own personal goals, and then your own personal issues come in and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, I wanted to start this business. Now I have this and I have that. Don't fret because your girl got you covered, honey. I got you covered. I'm going to give you some quick tips. And uh, I was reading, like y'all already know I'm always going to be reading, okay? Me and Igna kind of believe the same thing. And first of all, you have to focus on commitment. And how committed are you to yourself? Sometimes we tend to put ourselves on a back burner. I'm going to need for you not to do that anymore, especially if you don't have young children. Your children are grown. I understand you're like, okay, this is it. You know, I got my kids. They're away at college, blah, 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 blah. You did it. You helped them. Like I said, you move, you transition from parent to counselor once they get out into the real world, okay? So you need to focus on you. Hey, Lynette, hey, PJ. So you need to focus on you, not the motivation as far as getting started with doing your stuff. What you need to do is focus on how committed you are to yourself. I'm sorry, I, mean, I got this phone down. I can, you know, you talk with my hands, okay? So don't focus on the motivation and feel like you're not motivated. It's all about commitment, okay? Also, Seek knowledge. Yes, a French. I'm about to eat me some French fries. I told you I'm going to go order me some French fries. Do McDonald's let you order French fries during the day? I think so. Anytime you want, or is that Burger King? Maybe I'm going to have to go to Burger King. Hey, Claudia, CJ. Hey, Tiffany. So you want to seek knowledge first, not the result of what you get. Just seek knowledge. Obtain the information that you need to obtain to achieve your goal, okay? Also, have fun with it. Have fun. That's it. Have fun. Good morning, Debbie. Have fun. When you're trying to achieve your own success, you know, things come in. I, if I could, listen, I could write a book just on what I experience in a day. And I know I'm not the only one to be like, what? Is this really happening? Hey, Melissa, good morning. Just like I told you about the cake situation. Okay, yeah, y'all know. My birthday tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> So y'all know how to post it up there. I wanted to order me a cake. Hey, Chantier, order me a cake. But the people telling me that, um, th first of all, they said they had a banana nut cake. And I like banana nut. I don't even really like cake. But if I'm going to eat a cake, let it be banana nut, right? So I said, okay. And I told her I want a double layer. Well, she said, no, you don't need a double layer. Um, <laughs> I 
was like, I'm on the phone. She ain't even seeing me in person. You know, let me fix my beret, right? Oh, I can't wait till the winter. So she told me I need a single layer. So then I said, well, I want buttercream icing in the middle, you know, so it could stick together and the whip on top. No, we're not going to make two separate icings to, um, for one cake. What? Am I ordering this? And I asked her, I said, is this a display cake or something you're trying to sell me? What's going on? And she was like, no, I said, wait a minute. Are you the baker? She's like, well, uh, probably I'll be the baker. Okay, so you don't feel like doing a double layer cake. You're telling me that you are not making two separate icings for one cake, even if I was going to pay for it. I was planning to pay for it. I'm ordering the cake. And then how you going to tell me I don't need a half sheet? I need a quarter of a sheet. She don't know if I was having a party or not. You know, or not. I'm like, what? what? What are we doing? But that was classic bakery, and I am going to put it out there. So once I found out, she said she would probably be the one baking the cake. I said, well, you know what, ma'am? Thank you. But with your attitude, I will go somewhere else. I don't want her baking my cake. Are you crazy? Nope. She don't even want to do it. She don't even want to go to work, okay? Don't even want to go to work telling me, oh, you're going to get a half sheet and a quarter of a sheet. What? People, y'all doing too much. I'm like, am I the customer or not? So, and it was funny to me because I was like, is this for real? And I started laughing. So have fun. Have fun along your journey when you're trying to achieve your goals. So when those things come in, boom, to try to knock you down, just laugh at it and just know this, I cannot be the only one this is happening to. All right. And also get rid of your stagnant thoughts, your, your what ifs, your mm, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. What if I, this doesn't work out the way? Get rid of that. I don't want it at all. I don't want you to have it because I want you guys to be successful in achieving your goals. Use your imagination. See it. See it 10 years from now. Name it. Claim it. Hey, friend, name it. Claim it. Okay. That's what you have to do. Name it and claim it and see it. See it. All the way, be like 10 years from now, I'm going to be doing this. 10 years from now, I'm going to have this in my office. See it. Use your imagination. You have to. Also, this is why it's going to be different because I always say it's all about you. It's all about you. It is all about you and achieving your goals and making sure that you are successful. And this is what you're going to have to do. Stop being nice to yourself. Quiet in the room. Quiet in the room. We in the library. Yes, you have to stop being nice to yourself because what happens? I'm telling you what happens. You'd be so nice to yourself. You'd be like, oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I'll just go ahead and go to a restaurant and treat myself to dinner. That's good. But in this case, in achieving your, achieving your goals, you got to hit, you got, you got to pound the pavement. Pound the pavement, hit the carpet, whatever you're dealing with. You have to work. Put in the work. Put in the work. See, it's about you. Now, I'm not saying, you know, neglect yourself. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, don't be nice to you when you're trying to achieve your goals. Set deadlines and meet them. Mademoiselle, yes, honey. Look at that. <laughs> Good morning, Helen. Yes, yes, yes. And like I told you before, get rid of those distractions. I told you that at the beginning. Okay. Y'all know this one. Do not rely on others to achieve your goal. Don't do it. Good morning, Derek. Do not do it. Do not rely on others. Now, how many times, let's say you had your car in the shop or something like that, or you was waiting on a ride? Nothing worse. And this is just minor. Nothing worse than sitting there and you say you get off at three o'clock and somebody has your car and it's 301. It seemed like it's four o'clock, right? You looking like, um, you should be outside waiting on me to pick me up. Nothing about relying on others when you have something to do. Or you got a doctor's appointment and the doctor said you can't drive and you know your appointment is at three o'clock. And it is 250 and the person that you relied on pulling up at 255. Um, hello, my appointment was at three o'clock. It, it is at three o'clock, not uh <laughs> four o'clock or three thirty. Now you're gonna make me late. Okay. So don't rely on others. And like I said, you know, write it down, jot it down, make a plan. You know what I'm saying? You have to make a plan. Also, now I did tell you, don't be nice to yourself and work on yourself and cross it off. You have to strategize. Plan it properly because you don't want to do, you know, deal with the burnout. I told you that about two weeks ago. You don't want to get burned out, okay? Ooh, this hat is hot, but I am happy about it with my raspberry beret, but my head is sweating, okay? So let me hurry up so I can get the heck up off of here. So listen, lovely people, those are the tips in order for you guys to be successful in achieving anything that you want to achieve, okay? I had to give it to you if you feel stagnant. Like I said, don't let those distractions come in and prevent you from doing what it is that you are purpose to do. And um, 
I'm going to say this again. Imagination is everything. Just imagine where you'll be in 10 years. Matter of fact, it might motivate you to get started on your goal, your dreams, your success when you sit there and imagine right now today where you are going to be have, had you not started. Okay. If you have not started yet on focusing and achieving your goals and what you want to do, guess what? Do it now. Imagine yourself in 10 years and you said, okay, well, I didn't start in 10 years. Am I still going to be in the same spot? I hope not. Yes, 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 Derek. Uh-huh. Yeah, your boss, Mr. McGee. Start. Yeah, mm-hmm. he hooked me up. Ah. <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, good morning, Anthony. I love you guys for listening. You have no idea. I won't keep you long. You already know if this is your first time coming on Be Inspired. I love you for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Share this video if you feel as though it's helpful for somebody and it might motivate somebody. But I'm here to tell you lovely people. I got to tell you again. And you know I'll be doing everything at the same time. It's not about motivation on this. It's about commitment. So commit to yourself. That's the word. All right, find you, embrace you. Most importantly, always, always love you. Until next week, people, shop, talk. No, <laughs> until next week, people, be inspired right here every single Friday. And shop, talk, okay? Every single Friday, 7 a.m., I am here for you. Good morning, Damon, and I am here for it. All the shade and everything else that you might have to say. But check out my Mariah's Berry Beret. He about to be skinny, sweating like this, but... The winter is coming, and I'm going to be rocking this. And you're going to be like, who is that? Be like, I don't know who she is, but she wore raspberry beret. Peace.